How long does it take for you to produce a song? Normally I work for weeks on one track. In most cases producers spend days, weeks or even months to create hit songs in EDM. But today we try a little challenge. We will set a 15 minute timer and we will look how far we can come when starting a track from complete scratch. So, as I start the timer, the video is completely uncut and 100% real. So guys 1, 2, 3 let's go. I set the timer and hop directly into our DAW. My plan is to pick a piano first and start a melody I had in my head already when brushing teeth this morning. I think I will write it in C sharp because why not? As I said I have the melody already in my head, so I just write it down as fast as I can. It is a very simple melody that fits good into progressive house. That's basically it. Now I duplicate it and change minor things. Here at the end I go up with a note to create more emotion. Okay the melody is done now I made chords real quick that fits to them. We just need a basic 4 note pattern that is very simple. Oh I messed up the rhythm. Now it's good. I duplicate it again and change the last bass note for a bit more variation. Now copy the notes 5 keys up to get a nice 5th interval that almost always sounds right. Then I put a note on top that just sounds right in the whole context of everything. That note goes a half tone down. Now it sounds right. This last note works because the bass note is different. Now let's put everything an octave up. Oh yes guys that sounds way more emotional. Okay done let's delete this stuff right here and let's search some nice presets in Cylinth. Open it up, and I went into the best sound banks for progressive house on the planet. At first I will pick the hit preset, because it always works. Now I copy the MIDI into it. Delete the chords. Oh thoughts to high I drag it down an octave. Copy the melody, and just search for some more preset which we will layer real quick. The lean preset sounds right. Let's search up some more. I go into the lion sound bank A. Eh? And I just pick the first preset because it sounds so good. I think we need some more. We just pick the second preset because it also sounds good ha ha. Okay that stack is cool guys it goes into the right direction. For the next step we just copy the MIDI into some chord presets from the same sound bank and see what we will come up with. Delete the top melody. Let's try some. Yay I love that Garrix preset. We need a second sound that is more space and sounds more detuned. Yay this one will work. This one also because why not? That is a strong stack my boys. Let's waste no time and search up some bass sounds for a good bass line. I have a couple mid basses in mind that have to be really gritty and a thick sub bass. Paste the MIDI into here and delete the notes above the bass note. Oh yay that one is the grit we want to have. Just pick another good one. Oh yes ma boys. This one is also cool let's pick it. 
Now we just need a sub bass and we are ready with the bass sounds. I love this clean sub. Grab all those patterns and put it into the timeline. I make mixing stuff real quick with EQ and so on. A basic low cut is always. And a slight touch of side chain. Now I will pick some heavy reverb. But I will automate it to the peak controller, so it is a nice and clean reverb. Yay that sounds nice already. We basically doing the same stuff with the chords. Side chain. I try to mix the sounds together right here real quick. The mid basses also need a low cut. And heavy side chain also. Okay thoughts it for now let's put in some samples into the project to make it come alive. Pick this kick because it sounds great. Let's mix it a bit more. We need some drop claps to give the track more space. Some rides always work. Now I think of a snare fill. This one. After arranging this snare fill we really need some ambient sample that give us that awesome background texture. All these ambient samples are absolutely amazing. I think I will pick this one right here. And I pitch it up a bit. Oh yay guys this will work so good. For the next step we need more energy so I think I will pick a crash sample and cut it into pieces and mix it into our song. That trick really lifts the energy my guys. We don't have that much time left so I think we need to build a build up on this point. I will put the melody in the build up and make a filter automation so it opens up when hitting the drop. Man there is the fruity filter plug and I always forget it haha. Ha. There it is. Create automation clip. And just make a simple automation. 
Now I make the same stuff to the chords and the mid basses. I just link them all into the same filter automation by clicking link to controller. As I said I make the same for the mid basses. At this point I got a little bit confused because the timer was already finished without making a signal. Then I realized that I have set up the timer to 10 minutes instead of 15 minutes ha ha ha. After thinking a few seconds about what to do I remembered that I also have the time on my video screen recorder. Then I continued making the track my boys. For the next step I set the side chain off in the build up because it feels weird to have side chain in the build up. Then I stumbled around these knobs right here ha ha ha. Till I figured it out. Next we need to pick some build up drum samples and drag it into our project and mix it in quickly. All of these are so good so I don't know which one to choose ha ha. I just pick this one because the timer is really stressing me. Let's grab some risers for the energy. Some more. Before the drop I will arrange it a bit different to have more energy. Something like this. Maybe a little drum fill before the drop could also work. Let's grab this one because the time sits on our necks. I think more crash samples give us even more energy. This one. Mix it a bit. I grab another more. And mix it. Oh yes boys now one last crash. Oh the snare fell is on the wrong place. Now it's good. I make the drop longer by duplicating it. And I think I will put some hi-hats into the second part to give it even more energy over there. But before that, I make some slight arrangement adjustments here. I delete some elements before the second part of the drop, so it is less repetitive. I drag the drum fill sample over here. And I will put also a riser into the drop for the power. As always I mix it quickly. Okay I now grab the hi-hats and put it into the second part. These ones maybe. Okay my boys things getting excited right now because we have a little more than one minute left on this point. Maybe I can drag an ARP sample into the drop to fill it up more. Pitch it into the right key and mix it. Now it's in the right key. A bit of side chain. And we have some time left to grab maybe two more Atma samples and mix it into the drop. Oh my boys we have 30 seconds left thoughts so stressing.
maybe one atma sample more. And I wanted to also use my piano and guitar samples, but I don't think we have time for it now, oh man. 10 seconds, oof. A quick last mixing. And my lovely people, our timer is done now. So guys, this is what you can achieve in 15 minutes using the Lion Sample Pack. As you can see, it is fully loaded with amazing 500 presets for Silinth 1, Serum and Vital. And you have more than 1000 samples to choose from which it is really a great help to produce EDM music like this. I haven't shown it to you in this video but this pack contains also 100 amazing MIDI melodies which are 100% royalty free. Got everything you need in one pack. Okay guys. Let's listen to the end result and let's watch an epic video to it to get the vibes we want. Let's go. Guys thanks so much for watching. I love you.